Hi, welcome. It's me, Miss Backus. It's been a while since I've recorded a video for you, so I'm pretty excited. Hope you are too. Here are some tips to memorize cations. Yes, we have to memorize a few more things. Go to problem book page 407 and you will see the list of cations. Those are positive ions. Remember, cations are positive. I love that. And anions are negative. And today's video, we're going to just talk about the cations. So take out problem book page 407 and it looks like this. So we're going to concentrate on the cations or the left side of this chart. And you may notice that you already know many of them. You should recognize the alkali metals and you should know their charges, they're plus one. And you should also recognize the alkaline earth metals and their charges are plus two. So here this chart is again on page 407. Here's lithium and potassium and sodium. Those are all plus one. Those are all alkali metals. And here are your alkaline earth metals. You have your barium and your calcium. And we have magnesium down here and we have strontium here. So many of these you do already know. So what's new? Let's go back and look at that chart and see if we see anything that's new. So here we have the names and here we have the symbols and you might notice that you know most of these words even the ones that aren't alkali or alkaline earth metals. For instance we had to memorize copper and chromium and iron and lead and so you should recognize those names and these symbols but there's something new. There are these Roman numerals here. So why are these Roman numerals there? Well if you look at the Roman numerals, you'll see that copper, Roman numeral 1, is copper with a plus 1 charge. And then copper with a Roman numeral 2 is copper with a 2 plus charge. Lead with a Roman numeral 2 is a lead with a 2 plus charge. And if you scroll down farther, you'll see lead again. And here lead, Roman numeral 4, has a lead 4 plus charge. So the Roman numerals tells you the charge on the ion. So why do we need a Roman numerals? There's no Roman numerals for alkali metals or alkaline earth metals. So why are there Roman numerals sometimes and not others? Well that's because some ions, especially transition metals, can have more than one type of charge. So copper here at the top of the page can be a plus one charge and sometimes it can be a plus two charge. Iron here is a two plus charge. But down here, you see iron again is a 3 plus charge. We also looked at lead, which is a 2 plus up here and then a 4 plus down here. So ions that can have more than one charge need a Roman numeral, or at least I should say cations, need a Roman numeral to tell us what the charge is. So what's new? These Roman numerals. We know the elements, we know their symbols, but we have to have Roman numerals for elements that can have more than one charge. And the Roman numerals represent the charge that they have, so that makes it easy. And they're used when elements can have more than one charge and often used for transition elements, transition metal elements. On our chart, nickel, which is an transition element, is just nickel and then nickel 2 plus. That's a mistake on our chart, so I want you to go change that and add a Roman numeral 2 here. So it should be nickel Roman numeral 2. All right. So go ahead and add a Roman numeral 2 for nickel. It should be nickel 2. So we have Roman numerals. They're not needed for alkali metals and alkaline earth metals. And every year someone always asks me, well, can't I just put a Roman numeral for everyone and then I won't forget them? because it's wrong when you forget them. It's also wrong if you add them when they're not supposed to be there. So we don't say sodium Roman numeral one for the sodium ion, it's just sodium. And we always know that sodium is gonna be a plus one charge. Calcium is not calcium with a Roman numeral two, it's just calcium because it's an alkaline earth metal and we know that has a plus two charge. So alkali metals don't need a Roman numeral, alkaline earth metals don't need a Roman numeral, and then these three elements, which also only have one charge, 
don't need a Roman numeral. That's aluminum, zinc, and silver. One way to remember aluminum, zinc, and silver is their position on the periodic table. They make this diagonal here. Aluminum is plus three, zinc is plus two, and silver is plus one. So these three do not need Roman numerals. And the alkali metals don't need Roman numerals. And the alkaline earth metals don't need Roman numerals. So that's everything other than that does when they're cations. So iron wood, cobalt wood, nickel wood, lead wood, tin wood, all of these. Now we don't have to memorize all of these, just the ones on page 407. So what are some hints to memorize these ions? Well, here are some hints. One, make physical flashcards. Go get your 3x5 cards out. Put the name on one side and the element and the symbol or the ion and the symbol on the other side. Don't forget the charge. Simply write them multiple times. This one actually is the one I like the most. I like to write it over and over again. Use Quizlet. That's a fun program to test yourself. It also makes flashcards. And there are probably ions already pre-made on Quizlet. And then just practice, 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 practice. There you have it. Tips to memorize cations. Thanks for listening.